Good evening. My name is Rodney Baptiste. I'm a master instructor and the director of WCRB Karate. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Blue Belt Blocks and Counters. This is first degree Black Belt Maya, and she will be doing the Blocks and Counters for us today. Before we actually do the Blocks and Counters, let's take a look at some of the moves you're going to need to know. First, the front stance. Sliding the right leg back, making sure that, that front leg is bent in such a fashion that you can't see your toes without leaning forward. And the back leg is completely straight. The chest is going to be straight and the shoulders are going to be wall to wall. Okay? The next stance you're going to need to know to do this pattern is the back stance. Okay? Now again, the back stance is called so because 70% of the weight is on the back leg. Your feet are in a right angle. Your toes on the back leg should be going to this wall and the toes on the front leg will be going toward the front of you. The chest is going to be turned to the side in this position. Now, a unique position in the blue belt pattern is the X stance. The X stance is done by sliding forward. You're going to bend the back leg. You're going to be on the ball of the foot. Both legs are going to be bent in this position. Okay, so let's take a look at some of the hand moves. Okay, the knife hand block. Okay, the knife hand block is done by positioning both hands in the knife position. One of the hands is going to be doing a high block, the other one is going to be doing a middle block. It's important in the knife hand block that your thumbs are on the edge of the hand and not in the middle of it. Should be? This one, sir. Okay. Another uh, unique move is the side kick, grab an elbow. Prep. Okay. Side kick, she locks out a side kick, steps into a front stance, grabs, and then goes into an elbow smash. Now these moves are unique to the blue belt uh, pattern. Okay? Okay, so let's take a look at the blocks and counters. There are four of them. The first is going to be a middle block in a front stance covered, uh, accompanied by a aim and two punches. So, she blocks, she does the kick, aim, steps down with two front stand, two punches. Now, in order to make sure that you know this is right, you have to end with an opposite fist and, and foot. Opposite foot and hand, okay? That's how you know you've done this correctly. Judy? Okay, so the next move is a double knife hand block, okay? So she blocks, Okay, then she does a push block, we learned that at the green belt, steps in, and then does a knife hand thrust. When she completed the knife hand thrust, her push block hand is directly under the elbow. So that hand should not be either fingers out like this or hand on the chest. The hand has to be directly beneath the elbow and you're going to have a right position here. Okay, Jim B. Okay, so the next uh, uh, block encounter is the side kick followed by the grab. She steps over, she locks out the kick, steps into a front stance, grabs, and then does an elbow. Okay, and I think that one kind of speaks for itself. B. Okay, the last one is an avoiding the punch and then stepping into the opponent with a back fist. In a, in a X stance. So she steps over, avoiding the oncoming strike, then steps into the opponent with an X stance and a back of the fist strike. Okay? Should be? Okay, so those are the four blocks and counters for the blue belt. In our next uh, video, we'll be taking a look at the pattern itself. 